What's going on YouTube? Apathy here with another video back to you guys. Does Zymar really need to go? So today's video, as you guys can see, we'll, I have some gameplay for you. I'll be talking over it. And unfortunately we lost this map, but I played very, very well in the first half. So I wanted to share this gameplay with you guys while we talk about the IMR. So a lot of you guys know the IMR is, you know, has, people have been talking about it a lot. You know, some people call it OP, some people call it the best gun. Uh, you know, us pros agree to be, have it banned, especially online. And people wonder why. Now, to start off, I want you guys to get this across your head. Us pros who play on LAN mostly, and we participate in a lot of LANs, have used it on LAN. And from my experience, and I'm pretty sure a lot of pros can say the same thing, maybe not everyone, because I feel like nobody likes to agree with everything. You know, there's always that one person or a couple people who don't agree. And that's fine. You know, everyone has their own opinion. But I myself can say, and I know a lot of people can say, that the IMR is not as good on land. You know, I've used it. Um, a lot of pros have used it. And I've gotten raped with it. Now, is it nowhere near how good it is on online that that is also false i've used it on land and even though i've got raped at certain occasions because the guy ate or the burst didn't kill him fast enough or the burst didn't kill him you know as it should online and what i'm used to you know i would die half the time but aqua naga Finn, you guys seen them do work with it and it's still good like it's viable you know it can be used uh you know i remember when we were playing on land especially gfinity people would be like no i am mars no this no that and when it came to imr especially after i got raped uh during a match I said, I don't care. If you guys want to use the IMR, go ahead. But the main problem, the main thing, this is something argued at a, a subreddit, the COD Competitive. You know, I go on there sometimes to check things out when I'm, you know, bored or want to see what's going on with the community because a lot of you guys like to talk there. And I like to hear what you guys are heard to say. So I said something, and I really want to share this with you guys so you guys understand where I'm coming from. So I like having more guns, and I'm all for it, but the main concern is how broken it is online, especially on host. You might as well just forfeit the map if the host is using it. For example, we played Playster before on Solar Hardpoint. He used it. We couldn't even touch him. On top of his subs is rushing us. And that's on a that's on a respawn. SD is especially broken as well. Sometimes uh sorry. Something that reminds me of, as you guys all know, the AN94 in Black Ops 2. You guys all know the AN94 was still good on land. Like people say oh, it's not as good, but it was true because when I when I played Black Ops 2, I didn't play as much as you guys or you guys probably don't know I played that much. But, you know, when I did play and I, with the events I attend, I did try it and I loved it online. And when I went to LAN, I had the same issue. Small issue where it wouldn't kill fast enough. It wasn't killing how it was killing online. And to continue, I know it sounds far-fetched and the gun should be just as good as LAN. But the main thing what makes it overpowered is either host or very good connection to the host. Since we played 90% online, we'd rather have the game more balanced and not get bullshitted by hosts, one bursting everyone and kill you before you can react. And this is very true. I don't know if you guys ever played IMR, especially people play SD tourneys. I know you guys know this that the IMR can one burst you like no other. If you're playing the host with IMR and SD, that guy is pretty much almost unstoppable. He can run around, get back to back two pieces like nothing. To continue, also, I've used it plenty of times on LAN. Yes, it's almost as good, but nowhere near what you can do with it online. Trust me. As you, as you can see, it's a small problem. Our pros know it. That's why we choose not to use it. We want the game as balanced and fair as possible. Well, that's all I want to say. All right, so that's it, guys. And the main thing is, like, us pro, us, pe like, us pro players want the game balanced. We want it fair. And the fact, I think the, the biggest thing is it's not, it's online, you know. Us pros all agreed not to use it. We feel like it kills s &D. We feel like it's a, such an overpowered gun. And it just makes the game boring. It makes the game more slow. I don't know. Like, if you ever see an IMR play, and I know how to play with an IMR, you always see the IMR preem corners. You always see him, you know, preeming, stuff like that. And that's how you gotta play with the IMR. You gotta constantly preem around corners, and it's just it's it sucks for it online. And if a, like I said, if you're playing on a shitty connection or the host has an IMR, you're most likely losing that map. It's that it's that strong a line. And trust me when I say this, I wouldn't be saying this for no reason. So some people responded to the post I did in the subreddit, and conviction said it is only OP on host because of the better hit detection. That's the reason for the hatred. There really is not any difference on land. That is why it's okay on land. Another guy said, every gun is OP on host. Why would anyone think the IMR gets better hit detection than the bow on host? And then this guy, I guess supporting me as well, said, the hit detection isn't better, but the burst fires faster than the bow, so the better hit detection let, lets it kill faster. With bad hit detection, you miss, you have to wait for the burst to lay. The bow does have this drawback. 
Doesn't have this drawback, so it's better off host. So I finished off saying, the main thing is on host. You get to one burst a lot more since you have a huge advantage. You even get to kill people all the time before they can even shoot a bullet. For example, bow versus bow. Even if the one player are host, he still has a chance that he can get some bullets out before he dies. Now, if we both turn the corner and I'm pre the corner with an IMR and he has a bow, I will win the gunfight 90% of the time, even off host. I will either one burst him or my one burst will connect as soon as he gets one bullet out and I'll just finish him off with the second burst. And also what I mean by that is obviously, you know, you win that gunfight more on host, but I'm just saying, unless the host is complete shit, the IMR has a good chance of beating the bow most of the time. The only thing that compete with it, uh, basically close range is the ASM1. I personally would like the IMR to go. I don't know what you guys think, leave it in the comments below. But to be honest, especially in SSD lately, you know, without the IMR, without Overkill, without MGs, it's been, it's been a lot more enjoyable and fun to play. And I think it's been a lot more competitive, if you guys noticed. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out. One time. Yeah. Uh. She keep me coming. Uh. She keep me coming.